a letter to three wives. And what a letter. Right after John Kempner's story in Cosmopolitan magazine spread its great wave of mirth, 20th Century Fox bought it for filming. And here are the three wives as they appear in this superb screen entertainment. There's the wave who became a wife. There's the gold digger. And there's the career woman. Finally, there's the girl who wrote the letter, Addie Ross. Addie, just what did you put in that letter? Oh, a number of things. But the important thing is in the last sentence. You see, girls, I run off with one of your husbands. Well, if that's her idea, she thinks she's extremely poor. I must say, character all terrible fun. I had my choice of any one of their husbands. Deborah's young and worldly husband. Well, I've got to pick up Frida. You'll phone about tonight, won't you? I told you I would. It just so happens that the dress I bought that you picked out of Vogue that some woman happened to leave on the train is exactly the dress that Addie Ross wore to the concert two weeks ago. Rita's charming helpmate. It's all this work. You're overtired. You do too much. What do you suggest I stop doing? This moronic radio trash with which I pay most of your bills? Now, calm down. And what do I go back to? Washing, scrubbing, ironing, and a life of taste and discrimination? I insert that with Addie Ross. Laura May's rich and forceful provider. You know how I feel about you. How? I'm only human, you know. Living with somebody all the time, I'm not easy to get along with anyway. Set in my ways, I want to do what I want when I want. Why, if it was just a question of the right girl, wouldn't any man in the world want to marry you? Not if he thought he could marry Addie Ross. Well, Addie, which husband did you take? <laughs> ah, Hi-ho. Good night, everybody.